When studying statistics, sometimes we are asked to find the range of a group of data, and sometimes we are asked to find the interquartile range. It is easy to mix up these two things, but I am going to illustrate the difference between them. Range is actually very easy to find, but interquartile range takes a little bit of extra steps. In order to find interquartile range, you need to know your Q1, Q2, and Q3 for your data. Q2 is the median. We take the n number of our data, which in this case is 18. I have 18 numbers here. And we put 18 plus 1 over 2, that's the n plus 1 over 2 formula, equals 19 over 2 equals 9.5. 9.5 means the ninth and the tenth data values. Let's find them. Counting from here, we have our first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Our ninth and tenth data values are these two elevenths. We find the average of these two values to find our median when we have an even number of data values. So the average of 11 and 11 is 11 plus 11 over 2, and it's equal to 11. Our Q2 for this data is 11. Our Q1, we have to know how many data values are left of our median. And I see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to the left of the median, which is right here. Our n plus 1 over 2 formula gives us 9 plus 1 over 2, which gives us 10 over 2, 5. The fifth data value is going to be our Q1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Our fifth data value is here. It's this 8. So our Q1 is 8. Now, to find Q3, we have a shortcut. We know it's the fifth data value from the left side. It's going to be the fifth data value from the right side as well to get our Q3. So here's our first, second, third, fourth, fifth data value. It's the 13. It's actually the 14th data value counting from the left side, but it's the fifth counting from the right side. That value is going to be our Q3, so we know our Q3 is 13. To find the range, we need to know the minimum and maximum data values. So let's point them out as well. Our minimum is 2, and our maximum is 18. Range is equal to maximum minus minimum, which in this case is equal to 18 minus 2, 16. Our range for this data is 16. Our interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1, which in this case is equal to 13 minus 8. Our interquartile range, our IR, is equal to 5 for this data. This is the difference between range, which is very easy to calculate, largest number minus smallest number, and interquartile range, which has these extra steps. You need to know what your Q1 and your Q3 are before you can calculate it. Here's another example where we will find range and interquartile range. This data is in a stem and leaf table. First we will find our Q2. We see that our end number is 47, so we put 47 plus 1 over 2 which is equal to 48 over 2, it's equal to the 24th value. And when we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, the 24th value is equal to 23. Our Q2 is 23. 
is equal to the left half of the data, all of the data points that are to the left and above the median. How many of those will there be? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. There are 23 numbers to the left of the 24th number, the median. So we have 23 plus 1 over 2, which is 24 over 2, which is our 12th value. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Our 12th value is this 14. Q3 will be the 12th number, but from the other end. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It will be this 32. Our minimum is 1, and our maximum is 57. Now we have all the values we need to calculate our range and our IR, interquartile range. The range is equal to the maximum minus the minimum, which is going to be 57 minus 1, which is therefore 56. Our range is 56 for this data. Our interquartile range is equal to Q3 minus Q1, which in this case is equal to 32 minus 14, and that is equal to 18. Our IR for this data is 18.